Hi everyone, it's Pastor Josh. I'm here at church for this children's message today, as you can tell. And, you know, I found something really strange in the sanctuary here at church. It's this black box, and I don't know what's in it. And I, I think we got to take a look inside to see what this box could possibly be. So uh, let's take a look inside and see what it is, if I can get it open. Aha. All right. Huh. It's like, it's like a bunch of letters. So it's the letter A. Uh, okay, there's some more letters in here. Should we see what it spells out? Okay, so there's the letter A. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move down here so I can put all these up. Uh, let's see. Oh, this would have a butterfly on it. It's the letter L. And, uh, well, there's another L, another butterfly on that one, too. Hmm. Well, that word spells all, but there's more letters, so that can't be it. Let's see. Uh, here's another letter. It's the letter E. And I'm going to run out of room. I'm going to have to start moving these down a little bit further because there's still more letters in here. Uh, and another L. That's a lot of L's. All right, let's see. Any idea what this word could possibly be? There's still more letters. It's the letter U. And I'm still running out of room. Uh, we've got two more letters. It's the letter I. And another A. So we got to move these down so we can make space for all of these letters. And can you see what this word spells? It spells Alleluia. Now that's a word that you might know we're not supposed to say during the season of Lent, which starts today on Ash Wednesday. Alleluia is a word that means praise God. It's a happy word, right? And one of the things that we do every Lent is we bury the word Alleluia. And we get rid of it for a little while. We don't say it in our church services or in our songs or in our prayers. And there are lots of ways to praise God. This is one way, but we can praise God in lots of different ways during the season of Lent, too. Because when Easter comes and this word comes back and we unbury this word, we get to say, Alleluia, all we want. And that's a pretty great thing and a pretty great reason to praise God. So we're going to bury these letters back up in the box. And I think actually this year we'll remember to open it on Easter. So I'm going to put these words, these letters back in the box. All right. So we will close that up. And then we are going to put this box front and center, right underneath the altar. So it'll be there all night long. And then on Easter, we'll remember to open it back up. So I mentioned that today is Ash Wednesday. It's the start of the season of Lent. A little bit later on in our service, one of the things we do on Ash Wednesday is uh, usually when we're in church, if we come up to the front and the pastor puts a little cross of ashes on our forehead. If you have ashes at home, that's great. You could also use a little bit of dirt from a potted plant you have at home. Uh, or if you don't have any of that, you could even use a little bit of water and just trace a little bit of water on your forehead in the shape of a cross. Because all of these are ways that on Ash Wednesday, we're reminded how much God loves each and every one of us. And that's a pretty great thing to remember on Ash Wednesday. So for now, let's close with our prayer. Dear God, it's the season of Lent a day of Ash Wednesday, a day that you remind us how much you love each of us because you made each of us just as we are. Help us through this Lenten season and help us to contain that word that we really, really want to say, but we can't, so that we can shout it with great joy at Easter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take care, everyone. See you soon.